welcome to my channel my name is Goga and I'm here to bring out some new concerning Chelsea and what is going around the club so if you are new here consider subscribing turn on the notification button so you get notified whenever I upload new video without wasting time let me, yes Ngulukante there we go Ngulukante over talks concerning new contract at Chelsea but somehow our new owners are worry about his constant injury he has been throughout this season because he didn't play much to be quite honest this season he didn't play much he was not fit throughout and the whole problem the whole crisis at the club has overshadowed his presence even on the bench because some has even forget if, if uh, Kante is still playing at chess because of his constant injury he's never fit which is why Rose doubt on why what are are not really are not willing to commit another contract into his hands so i can always understand but if i'm if i was the owner so i would give him the contract the two years contract because he really deserves it he has been withdrawn to through bad season and worst season and good season and he has been monumental to our season in a few a few past past years so i just want our owner to reward him that contract but if they decide not to give him, I will understand because after all, they are the owner of the club. I'm not the one buying Chelsea, I'm not the owner of Chelsea, I'm just a fan supporting the club. So if they decide to let him go, so be it. You can only only replace him after all, but you will be somehow having in my conscience to let him go just like that. At least signing the two years day, even though he will not be at his best at Chelsea, at least we'll be using him as a backup to somebody else. So imagine having a fully fit Kante at the midfield and Enzo Fernandez close to him in the midfield. He will be fired. But unfortunately, we don't have the top coach to bring out the best in our squad we have. Imagine Modric at the left, and Nanu uh, Noni Madweke at the right. Then we'll put someone like uh, uh, Fofana at the front. Then put uh, uh, Messi Mant at the, at the attacking midfield. You see how the team will perform. But no, we just have a put that we can't just trust anything. Even going to tomorrow match against Leeds, I knew for sure we are not going to win that game. I'm just honest. It's not that I don't support my club anymore, but I'm just being honest. He's never going to hit the result. But if if I lost tomorrow, we resort to sacking Porter. I will be glad to lose to Leeds. You understand? I just don't want to hear excuses after matches why the team isn't performing why the team the team is not looking enough to do this you go there i embarrass us as a fan you embarrass fans you embarrass the whole fan base you embarrass the the owners themselves that are spending money but are not getting results out of the team which is quite quite embarrassing because at the end of the day you are the one putting the club into more crisis if you don't sack this man so the the blame is gonna go to our new owner, Todd Bowley, because he's only looking at it as he will lose, he will lose about 60, 60 million if he is to pay him off after sacking him. So I quite understand, but at the end of the day, everyone make mistakes. Everyone make mistakes. Most club club owners have made mistakes. Club a directive for a club boss have made mistakes. Not it's not the first time. So just why can't you swallow your ego and sack this man? Pay him off. Then when the team start picking up, you, you make your money back by the fine base going to matches, by winning trophies, you make that money back. So it's, it's just that simple. Just let your ego go down, then sack this man. Pay him off. You make you make that money back in, in a few times, a few times ahead. So why do you prioritize this guy being at the job? Why causing more pain? Why causing more more doubt? Why causing more problem at the club? Believe it or not, you are the one res responsible responsible for all this stuff that is happening at the club. Because if you don't sack this man, I fear the worst. We might find ourselves fighting for relegation. I know that's gonna happen as long as we keep Bota at this club. You have great signings at the window. You have great signings. In fact. Most Chelsea fans were not expecting us no, to get those players, especially when they when they are that cost. Yet you manage to get them, which we appreciate. We appreciate so much because you mean well for this club. Eh? 
Your decision making isn't helping this club in any way. Your decision making is killing the club. Small, small. Because if you don't make this, if you don't make this, uh, if you make Potter too comfortable, just he is just going to keep on losing, 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 losing. At the end of the day, with the fan, we we, we we will suffer it. We will suffer it the most. So just take a look at clubs that are doing well in the league and that are spending less than Chelsea. Even Liverpool, take, take a look at Liverpool. Liverpool. Liverpool are in crisis. They didn't sign player yet. They are still managing to pick few wins, even though it's not their standard yet. They are picking. They are picking up few wins. They are six on the table, if I'm not mistaken. So that should tell you that. Imagine they having this lot of player we have at Chelsea yet we can't get results. Liverpool will be fighting Arsenal or Man City at the top of the table. But their owner somehow didn't want to spend money for them. So they probably want him out. So I expect you to do the same at Chelsea. You hire a coach that is not perfect for the job, that, that is incompetent. So you just sack him and go for the best option and em employ him so that you sort out the real problem that is Chelsea. We, we just want someone that can move this club forward. You understand? So tomorrow is going to be the games again least. So I don't know you guys can predict for the team. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you believe Jesse can get results tomorrow. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So like, like my video, share to your friends. You support my channel. Your support means so much to me. So I will be glad and I will be very grateful for your support. So thank you guys. See the next one. Ciao.